Hello and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today we are going on a range test. That's right, we are taking the 2023 ID4 rear wheel drive on a range test. Again, this is the SK Innovations battery, just in case that plays into anything later today. I'm thinking we're gonna get around 230 to 240 miles, but we will see. This is a cold range test. It's an, around 40 degrees, so it's not super cold, but also not super warm. It'll play a little bit into um, driving, I believe. We're about to hit 100%, and then we're gonna be on our way. And there it is, 99, about to hit 100%. Um, a couple things, I'm just gonna talk about the procedures I'm gonna use on this test. So it's gonna be 70 miles an hour, constant. Um, as soon as I get on the highway, I'm gonna to get to 70 and keep it to 70. We're gonna go halfway, loop back around. Um, it's not a perfect loop because I'm gonna be using I-70 West and um, there's actually, it's not the same road, it goes on two different roads, so. Uh, but anyways, that's the best we're gonna do. But every car I run through this test is going to use um, the procedure, so it'll be fair to the test. Again, I hope you all are excited as I am for this. I've been wanting to do a range test for a long time, and let's get into it. All right, everybody, we are at 100%. So the car, based off my previous driving history, says it's gonna take, uh, sorry, not take, give us uh, 278 miles of range. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we shall see. So I am going to reset some things in here. We're gonna reset since start. We're gonna reset long term and since charge should already be reset. Oh, it's not, but hopefully it'll reset when we unplug. And we're gonna get on our way. Um, the climate, I am gonna turn the climate on because I am human. And we're gonna set the climate to one, two. So two clicks over, so lowish. Um, 72 degrees, no butt warmers. I think I'm gonna be all right. And that is what we're gonna run with today for our testing procedures. Here we go. All right, and we are off, pulling out of the charger and getting on our way. Again, not too far from 70, so we're gonna get right on there and get going and see how far the ID4 is gonna take us. Here we go. up to speed GPS is flipping between 69 and 70 so I'm gonna call that pretty good uh, we're about four miles in and we're gonna see what happens here we go ID4 again I'm thinking like 230 maybe that's a little optimistic but we'll see if I'm wrong then you know it is what it is everybody we have hit the 75 percent mark um, we have driven 58 miles. We have 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour for our consumption. And it says we have 197 now miles of range left. We will see how that goes. Um, I'm thinking we probably don't have 197 miles of range, but we'll see what happens. I will be optimistic. Right now, if we keep up with this average, we'll be at about 230 or so. So that would uh, make me feel good because that was about my guess. So we'll see how that goes and I will update you all at 50%. All right, everybody, we are back up to speed on our way. Again, um, this is my first time doing a test. So I'm set, uh, kind of set my procedures. I'm adjusting them a little bit as I realize how it works out in the real world. And uh, we're on our way. So next time I'll check in at 50% state of charge. All right, everybody, here we are at 50%. We've gone 109 miles. Uh, we've definitely uh, gone down a little bit in consumption. We're at 2.8. Um, yeah, we're halfway there. Uh, I'm actually, I've made a mistake. I should have turned around earlier and done some um, extra loops, which I will do next time, uh, which is, uh, 
it's okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Uh, but my turnaround point's actually up here in about 18 miles, so I'll probably be at like 45%. So uh, I'll let you all know how I end up um, remedying that situation. I think I'll have to stop earlier, obviously, to end my uh, my um, range test, and I do want to end at 0%, but I'll probably end in uh, Hagerstown instead of Frederick. Uh, but it'll be all right, and now I know for the next time I do this, uh, once I get on the turnpike, I can't, I, once I get to the first turnaround, I should go, or maybe turn around sooner. So, uh, good to know. You live and you learn. Uh, but onwards and upwards. I'll catch you all at 25%. All right, everybody, we are at the turnaround point. I made a 12% mistake. So now I know in the future, I will um, have a shorter loop and just run that loop uh, to keep myself from having to uh, be a little worried about <laughs> having enough energy to make it back to the starting point. All right, here we go. We are back on our way, getting up to speed. And then the plan is I'm gonna stop in Hancock, Maryland. Hopefully I'll make it that far. We'll see. If not, we'll have to stop earlier. Uh, but the plan is to make it to Hancock and then uh, that'll be the end. Everybody. We are at 20%. I missed 25%, so we're going with 20%. We've got um, 179 miles we've traveled so far. We have 52 miles of estimated range. We're about to go to a transition point. That's why all these people are getting in the right lane and slowing down. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I think we're definitely going to make it to Hancock. I might try and stretch it to Hagerstown so that the accuracy is a little bit better, but we will see how that goes. The car is asking me to charge right now. I'm about to exit, so it's going to be okay. But anyways, the car's uh, asking me to charge right now, so we will soon, I promise, car. Here we go, ID4. All right, everybody, so the current plan is, um, we're, I think we're gonna go for the, the Hancock um, charge point charger to be the end. However, I do need to burn about nine more percent. So I'm gonna go a little bit further down 70 and then uh, probably take the next exit and loop back and that should be about right. Um, now if I'm going and it says I can make it to the, the Hagerstown one, I'd like to make it to the Hagerstown, but I think that elevation climb just is just not gonna make it happen. Um, so we're almost at the end of the range test. We're at 10%, uh, 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour efficiency uh, and that's it I'll save the final numbers for when we get there all right everybody we just made the final loop we're making our descent into the Hancock charge point charger again this was my first uh, range test so I messed up in the future I know exactly what I do what I'll do I'm not gonna go into Pennsylvania I'll stop come back around on 70 and then I can uh, if I have to do any smaller loops to do a little extra, uh, that way when we make it back, it's at zero and we'll make it to Frederick. Uh, but for today, this will be good enough. I th it's still gonna be a really good um, uh, gauge on how far you can go with the ID4 here. And I'm calling this moderate temperatures. It started around 40 degrees. I think now it's, um, I'll look, 53, so 50s. So it's like cold to moderate, not super cold though. Um, so, you know early, early winter, late, late fall kind of temperatures. Uh, obviously this is in uh, February. All right, everybody. So I will catch up with you all at the charger and we're gonna review the numbers. So we're exiting the highway. Here we got six miles left, 2%. You can see the power is limited by half. All right, we're gonna make it in. I might have to drive a little bit more to get it down to zero, but can't complain about that. All right, almost there, everybody. All right, everybody, we're about to pull in. There's still a little bit left, but I'm pretty much close to zero. Um, I'd rather not have to have someone push me <laughs> to get to the charger. So once we get to the charger, I will give you those numbers after this light turns green. Here we go. Green means go. All right. We're in the lovely town of Hancock. Nice mountain 
Mountain Town, and they have two. Charge point chargers, which you'll see in a second. Man, this car's going real slow. All right, here we go. And we're gonna back in and see what we get. All right, everybody, before I go and charge, here are the numbers, 228 miles, 62 mile per hour um, average. Obviously that went down as I had to kind of do a couple loops here at the end. 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour consumption, three hours and 43 minutes of driving. Here it is up here, 1% it says three miles. Um, my app said eight, eight, uh, 775 watts. So maybe we would have made it to 230 on the nose if I was confident to um, go all the way to zero but i think this is pretty good and i'm pretty impressed as you all know my guess was 230 and it's 228 so i'm gonna call that a victory for today the 2023 id4 pro did a great job on the range test i did a bad job on the range test with the planning because i totally forgot the turnpike you don't get a bunch of turnarounds so uh Next time I do this, um, and I will do it with the ID4 again, I will, um, when it's a little bit warmer, I just won't go into Pennsylvania and I'll loop, come back and loop if I need to at the end. So awesome job, uh, ID4, and that's all I've got. So thanks for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you follow the Twitter at The Average EV, and I will catch you all next time.